Hey, this is Chad from Soundflow, and today we're introducing the new Pro Tools automation package for Soundflow. So what this is, is a collection of meta commands that will allow you to dynamically control the Pro Tools automation window and really accommodate a lot of the more advanced automation workflows in Pro Tools. So let's hop over to Pro Tools and check out what this can do. We have the deck down here on the stream deck. We also are gonna throw this on the screen just so that we can see more clearly the visual feedback. And the big winner with this app is that each of these buttons will dynamically reflect the state of whatever's going on in the automation window. So we have our parameters here. We can disable and enable for automation. We can go in and out of preview mode, and that state is always reflected by Soundflow. One thing to note with that, if you were to ever close the automation window, you can see that all the icons are now dim, which kind of is a visual feedback that says, hey, we don't actually know what the state of the automation window is. But if you click any of these, you'll bring yourself back to the automation window and be ready to do an automation workflow again. Another thing to note is that any of these commands could actually be mapped to a typical Soundflow trigger. So you can always have you know, preview be set to a keyboard command and the state will still be reflected on whatever decks are shown on your stream decks or on your device. For instance, if I do this from the key command, you can see that the preview is going on and off and that can be really helpful as well. Another thing to note is that on this default deck that we're providing you, we are actually using the right automation to selection and confirm command, which is here. And so what that is doing is it's actually auto accepting the confirmation dialogs for the right to warnings. So what that allows is that if we're back in Pro Tools and we don't have this setting set to suppress the automation warnings, then yeah, we'll be getting the automation warnings, the, uh, the right to warnings, and that can be really annoying. But if you are being intentional and you make a timeline selection and you wanna change this EQ, and I use the, the right to and confirm command, you can see that it automatically dismisses that dialogue for us. However, if we are on the timeline and we don't currently have a timeline selection and we were to use the right to, you can see that it does give us the warning because in this instance, we did not mean to write all of this automation to the entire timeline and we'd want to undo that. And similarly, if we're in playback and we were to change something like this and write to all enabled, we also want to see this dialogue that says, hey, you just you know, wrote overwrote your entire session in the last pass. Anyway, that's really powerful and allows you to kind of get the best of both worlds from suppressing the dialogues and also getting the warnings when they're actually helpful. So that's the Pro Tools automation package. Thank you for checking it out. And um, this is now available on the store and we really just, we hope that this allows you to have a smoother post-production or advanced automation workflow. Thanks.